Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to another weekly vlog or what I did in a week. It's a combination between voiceover and vlog style. Grab a snack, sit tight, and I hope you enjoy it a lot. Remember, it's not for comparison, just to show you what I eat as a 20-something living at home. Sunday, we celebrated Mother's Day with my family, so we had a lot of leftovers. The zucchini muffin was made by my grandma, and it was extremely delicious. Also had some pond cake and some eggs. It's finally summer, and my mom got this huge watermelon that I got to cut for a TikTok. I don't think you know this about me, but I used to work at Publix doing the little containers of fruit to go, so this is how I used to do it as well. I honestly love working there because it was so peaceful to just be in my zone and just listen to music talking to my co-workers and cutting all the fruit this is how much we got out of that huge watermelon and it was so juicy so delicious good morning you guys it has been a couple of hours since i woke up i had breakfast and then i started work in my computer it's right now like 11. i also made a couple of appointments the book that i'm reading right now is called scythe I don't even know how to say that word but it's a good one i've been liking the book i'm saying this as i am on page like 30 but that's okay also i don't know if i told you welcome to another weekly vlog i also made myself a snack here we have watermelon that i cut this morning and it was really rough I do recommend highly recommend if you're trying to heal your hormones if you want to get your period back if you want to feel better have coffee after food it's literally the best like seriously it has been game changer for me i used to feel so anxious and panicky and stuff like that and i used to have like a lot of downs in energy throughout the day until i started doing this like having coffee after breakfast after food anyways i have sad news sad news and is that the pain came back i am wearing my compression socks right now this is how they look like they're not like super aesthetic but like honestly i mean so much pain last night i couldn't sleep i have like restless legs and <laughs> it sucks it really sucks i couldn't sleep at all it feels like you have little ants in your legs both legs feels vibrations in them imagine you having a phone inside of your legs that's how it feels like just like vibrations it's just not okay but i'm trying to remain positive as always because being negative and like cry and stuff like that is not gonna help but i did cry it's okay it's gonna be okay You know what the best part of this week is? Bridger Tom coming up Thursday. So excited. For lunch, I also had leftovers from Mother's Day. Liner, I'm gonna show you. We're back. Um I finished lunch. It was really freaking good. I'm running out of my vitamin gummies. This is not vitamin. This is biotin gummies. Anyways, you guys, I've been meaning to like try something new with makeup and stuff. So Today, I want to see if I can do my eyeliner, which I'm kind of scared. I don't know. How do people do this? I don't even know. I'm trying to look for little tutorials to see if I can learn. And let's see how I do. First try. And if you have like any recommendation for like how to use eyeliner and stuff, let me know. Let me know. I, I need to know. I need to know. Without having a free hand, so use the same trick on your inner corner or your mascara every time. Let me know if you liked it and what tutorials you want to see next. If you no. wish to struggle with applying, add your falsies or your mascara every time. Let me know if you liked it and what tutorials you want to see next. No, girl, like how do you do this? Eyeliner, I'm going to make applying no. eyeliner 10 times no. easier. The type of eyeliner you I look like the guy from Kiss. The line is. And just like that, my eyeliner is on. I can do my eyeliner in three seconds. Just place it in the angle you want it. Easy. Just connect the dots. It is. Just like that, my eyeliner is on. I can do my eyeliner in three. Look how perfect that line is. And just like that, my eyeliner is on. I can do my eyeliner in three seconds. Just place it in the angle you want it and look how She really said easy. She really said easy. It is not easy. Um That looks awful. I look terrifying. Oh, this makeup thing. Okay, thankfully. Oop. 
thankfully i do have a good makeup remover so i was able to take it off i was craving something sweet don't judge me i'm gonna have another one of this they're so good and i'm gonna read for a little bit and it's 220 i'm on page 36 wow oh i forgot to tell you yesterday i had a watermelon donut and that was good and you know me you know that i don't love donuts but that donut was I spended the rest of that day reading and having some snacks and a little disclaimer this is my go-to snack and it's the one that I always go for in the afternoon you know when the hunger hits at like five o'clock and you don't want to cook or do anything else it's my go-to and you will see it a lot on this video for dinner we still had a lot of leftovers so my brother decided to make dinner he made some quesadillas with cheese on tortillas they were actually pretty good and it made me so happy that he was actually helping with dinner because it's not something that he usually does then for my snack before bed i had watermelon granola chocolate chips almond butter and protein dip the little protein dip actually reminds me of when i was younger and my mom used to make something similar with milk so i do have it quite often as well On Tuesday morning, my dad usually stays home from work and I get to eat breakfast with him. On this day, he actually had an appointment that I was going to go with him because he doesn't speak English and I'm always there to translate. When I came back, I had this protein shake because I was craving something sweet and I haven't tried this one since I got it. So I decided to give it a try and it was pretty good. For lunch, we still had leftovers, but we ran out of all the beef. So I decided to make a little vegetarian plate with rice, beans, and some cheese on top. Actually, not bad at all. And I didn't have to cook, so that was a plus. This is more of like, this is so funny because I decided to do a voiceover. But I also want to talk to you guys to the camera. So I'm going to do both because why not? On Tuesday, my mom decided to make dinner. She made a more Colombian style dinner. This is what we will usually have when I was younger. It was a plate of rice, some potatoes, and fun fact, these potatoes are called papas criollas in Colombia. And for a bedtime snack, I had cereal, apples, sunflower butter, and some chocolate protein powder. For Wednesday's breakfast, I decided to give iced coffee a try. And it's one that is already pre-made that we got at the store. I also had a little bit left over of the cereal. So I had that and I sliced a banana on top and had some more watermelon because you saw how much watermelon we still had. It was a pretty simple breakfast, but honestly, that's what I prefer in the mornings. I woke up hungry and I just don't want to spend a lot of time in the kitchen. Hello, you guys. I show you breakfast this morning very early because my dad, he had a blood work to do in the morning and i had to go with him now i'm having this they sent me this eat your vitamins nutrient dance bites they have like a bunch of stuff pumpkin seeds turmeric black pepper prebiotics probiotics quinoa dates cheek fees ginger it's like having your usual pill of vitamins but you actually eat it not bad for lunch i made a beef stew with carrots mushrooms and corn and i had some rice on the side <gasps> Almost drop it. Not me wanting to make a TikTok and realizing that I have protein powder in here. I'm so sorry you had to see that. If you have been here for long enough, you will know how much I love Chick-fil-A. So don't be surprised that I had it twice this week. On the first day, I had a grilled chicken sandwich with honey mustard and honey roasted barbecue. And I also had some chips on the side. These are so good and addictive. I kid you not, I cannot stop eating them once I have one. They're from Aldi and they're like Mexican and still they were leftovers from Mother's Day. So at this point, they were actually getting a little old and not really that crunchy, but that's okay. Then for my beautiful night snack, I had a mini blueberry muffin, some cottage cheese, almond butter and grapes. <laughs> 
on Thursday morning, I woke up super early and I was so hungry, so I decided to instantly make breakfast. I made something super simple but super delicious. It was two eggs fried with butter, some queso fresco, which is my favorite cheese, some grapes, a dinner roll, and some of this blackberries and raspberries. <laughs> Actually, pretty simple but pretty good. After a couple of hours, I decided to make my coffee and my Bridgerton a snack. This day, I was so freaking excited and I actually made a whole video with my reaction of the new season for my morning snack i had cottage cheese chocolate chip granola melon and strawberries the british accent is the best ah! i came back and i made some lunch post pilates lunch this is honey mustard you guys know that i'm obsessed with honey mustard and it's around what time is it it's 202 right now i swear this chips i've been eating them so much yesterday i had them with my chick-fil-a it's they're so good i had a little bit of cottage cheese and yogurt left in the container so i added that with maple syrup and a little brownie because i don't know you guys know that i'm always craving something sweet after lunch so here it is so good let's keep it going but i asked him to come to lunch I spend all the time I thought you Feelings like dreaming of you when I'm asleep. A feeling that is like torture. What the fuck? How do you mean? Like you really chose that place. You guys already know my usual snack, but this time two caramel rice cakes, peanut butter, a frozen banana because we didn't have any regular banana, and I'm in love with bananas. I was craving it so badly, and my protein dip. And for dinner, my dad made some plantains. These are fried, and it's something that reminds me a lot of my country. He also made some beef stew and some rice. Something about Colombians, we eat rice with pretty much every single meal. And then for dessert, I had this ice cream. Then on Friday morning, I decided to do something different we didn't have any bread and i saw hash browns on the freezer and for lunch i couldn't film because i went out with my family my grandma is visiting us from colombia so i was spending time with them when i came back had a pb and j sandwich it's like the frozen one i didn't make it it's from the uncrustables brand and then for dinner we went out with my mom because she was like danny we do deserve something to eat out we're gonna eat and probably watch a movie. I'm gonna play a little Sims and that's it. Love you guys. Night snack was pretty simple and I play Sims for the entire night. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love you so, so much and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.